Jones came to manage a trillion dollars in assets. Mail time. By focusing our mind on whatever's on yours. It's not really mail time. Well, it is kind of mail time, but. This shit has been just collecting. I've been waiting for parts. We got parts. This is just one way. One way check valve. So. Boost gauge. Because I don't trust the one in the truck. Oh, okay. You got. I bury my food all over the place. Am I gonna find it? Am I gonna start with it? I don't know. <laughs> it's very exciting. Hold on. Big brands. Got these plug wires. Um, a lot of guys use S10 blazer or pickup truck plug wires when they do a uh, when they flip the manifold on one side like I did because you can't use the LS. Plug wires because they're only like this long, and if you flip the manifold, it's right in front of the coils, so you, you, it'll burn the plug. It'll burn plug wires like crazy, so you can't use them. So you have to find an alternative. So either you go out and you buy an Excel or an MSD set of plug wires that are like hundreds of dollars, which is not what this channel's about <laughs> by any means. You gotta find a different avenue. So a lot of guys use S10 Blazer or uh, S10 Pickup for three era plug wire sets, and those are fine. Those were good too. But I found if you use like 09 Impala with like a three four, they give you. 90 degree ends which will fit an LS coil you get six you get six wires and they're all pretty long believe it or not and you just basically find which four are gonna work best for you and uh, and they're they're cheap they're 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 cheap they're like 50 bucks maybe you get three super duper long ones and three semi long ones so if you're gonna go like remote like put the coils not on the valve cover but put them somewhere else in the engine compartment then these are awesome because you can they have straights and you can put them anywhere you want basically but so yeah, we got these, and uh, which I need because um, the plug wires I had on here were uh, because of where the wastegate is and where it's exhausting. It made them brittle. So time for new wires. And that's what we got. So you know what? I'm just gonna kind of just. Goes back in there like that, and that's that. So I'm just gonna um, move this and drop stuff right there on the floor. Okay. So now let's see what's in here. Fuel filter. Damn. Nice fuel filter. IFJF. It is a cleanable serviceable I should say fuel filter take it apart clean it put it back together um, 
Oh, big, fat, huge O-rings on either side. Comes with... Um, it looks like Dash... Six, Dash Eight, and Dash Ten. Think. No. Yeah, Dash Six, Dash, dash Eight, Dash Ten. Fittings. So, whichever you're going to run. You got the fittings to do it. Yeah, you got the covered. There's fuel filter. Which, uh, just by base stuff, just one, this one box, you know where this is going. So, you know where this whole mail time's going. Okay, so, what's in here? Pull tab to open. Oh, bite. Looks like we got dash two dash six bulkhead. Yeah, dash six bulkhead, ninety degrees. Got two of them. And what's in here? Wow. And dash eight. Bulkhead straights. And that's strange. I don't know why. 6 a.m. to 2 4 a.m. I don't know why. I don't know why they sent me that. I, I didn't order that. Whatever. I didn't order that part, so. I'm gonna have to. And we got another dash eight bulkhead. Okay, we're back. So, we got two dash eight bulkheads with nuts. We got two dash six bulkheads for returns. Which I don't know if I'm gonna use this. I think we might jump up to dash 10 and then dash 8. So, we got this stuff. And then I have no idea why they sent me this dash 6 to 2 dash 4. This is useless. <laughs> but they sent it to me. I didn't order that. So, alright. So there's that. Next box. Um, let's just go keep. Let's stay with the bag theme. This, I did order. This is a... Dash 8 Y. So, Dash 8 in, Dash 8, and Dash 8 out. This will do single feed in and then feed each rail or whichever I opt to do. Because my fuel pressure regulator is dash eight. So this will work good. So, okay, so there's that fitting. I did order that <laughs> Y fitting. So now let's open this. this because uh, I'm running out of if I go with this aluminum intake I'm running out of vacuum space so this is a vacuum block which is really cool in a way because you have this huge it's like huge here and then here and then you have all these ports for vacuum and it can be it's real well built you can mount it to two bolts, whatever way you want, bang, and then have like 90s here or straights or whatever. Or you could put 
you know, push push lock fittings in there. Really cool. So, and then you get a bunch of adapters with it. Get a bunch of adapters with it. So, another really cool thing and a few plugs, which look like eighth inch pipe thread. So this looks like it's all eighth inch pipe thread here. The, all these holes. And then I don't know what thread pitch that is, but it is pipe thread. I can feel the taper. I can feel it just by putting my finger in it. But, okay. So, that's cool. Alright. Nifty. Nifty and sweet. Whichever one you want to call it. Can you tell I'm tired? And I want to go lay down. <laughs> okay. So now. Well. This. Is a. Complete. Steel rail kit. Black in color. Believe it or not, the, the only one they said that they had was red. So I ordered it. And they came black. And I was excited. <laughs> so, yeah. Fuel rail kit for LS. Um, black in color, which is really cool. And there's no markings on anything. I don't... Not that I'm complaining, not advertising for anybody, which it's like I'm not complaining about that, but flax should look really sweet on the side of that aluminum intake, providing I get that fucker flat. But, um, that's that. Pretty nifty, comes with a, comes with all this whole kit of stuff. You got mounting plates, mounting plates, hardware, and then a bunch of dash six, dash eight, and then uh, dash ten, it looks like. You got some, um, some fittings for braided line, um, and fittings for braided line, I should say. But, uh, yeah, it's really nifty. That kit is cool. Super cheap. I think it was 99 bucks for the, uh, for the set. For the kit, I should say. Yeah. Not bad. So. And then. We got. More AN fittings, six AN. Um, this is all six AN. This is going to be for a return line, which is three eighths and a whole shitload. Twenty feet, I think it is. Twenty feet of steel, stainless steel braided, um, braided hose, which is a E85 safe and all that. So this will be all for return and or crossovers or whatever. But, and then everybody's favorite, the red and blue Russell copies, which I don't care. I like red and blue. Red and blue is one of my favorite colors. So don't bother me none. So everybody wants black. I actually like the red and blue better, but Whatever. There's that. Now we're going to dive into this big box. And then that's the last one. For now, at least. Actually, I... Give me one second. I, I got it. The reason why I got this boost... I, I went to Harbor Freight and I got a boost gauge. Because the boost gauge in this thing sucks. It, it hits 12 pounds and it like floats at 12, maybe goes to 13, then drops to like eight. 
but when I'm looking at the fucking HP tuner screen, it's reading, you know, 15, 16 pounds. So the boost gauge is dead wrong in this thing. So I said, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go buy a cheap boost gauge. So I was walking to Harbor Freight, and they had this. So there was a bunch of them on the shelf. So I'm looking at all of them, and a bunch of the ones on, right on the shelf was reading like four pounds in the box. It was reading four pounds boost in the box. So I dug through a bunch of them. I found the one, or well, one of them that was at zero, and I bought it. It was cheap. So if it don't work good, it don't work good, then I'll just buy another one, I guess, right? Buy another one from another place, whatever, but I just had to, I was looking down at it, and I breezed through it at the beginning of the video. All right, so. Now we're getting into the Unum box. There it is. I was wondering where this was. I seen a stupid thing on Facebook. So I figured I'd buy one. But I don't know if this is going to be true. If it's a real one. It feels like it's good sharp enough. But it's one of those chamfering things for bolts you put it on your drill if you have a like a lug stud that's got the end and the threads are fucked up you put this on your drill and you go Rant, and it straightens it out so i seen it on facebook it was 9.99 so i figured i'd give it a shot and i bought one so i bought one okay so anyway and then, the last box, put this down there, the trash, and this is, uh-oh, look at, oh my god, look at, it's more red and blue fittings, my favorite, but these ones are dash eights, that's dash eight right there, my friends. Big old fitting. I like those. So, these are dash eight, which is half inch, I would say. Yeah. Half inch, half inch, 20 feet of half inch steel braided line. So, that's going to be coming up from the front of the truck, well, from the fuel pump. So, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to go with. I do believe I am going to get two Bosch 044, two of them. Come out, uh, we use both bulkhead fittings, come out of the pump. Or the other way I think I was gonna do it was gonna use two Bosch 044s and uh, and use a diesel sump plate on the, cause the tank is plastic. So you just hog a hole in the bottom of the tank put your diesel sump plate in that has a dash 10 out of it. Dash 10 to, you know, that say, so you come out of that dash 10 to two dash eights. And then to both Bosch 044 pumps and they continue on up. And with that big ass fuel, that big ass fuel filter, you can come out of that diesel sump with a with a 90 to the filter then to both pumps then that way you're filtering both pumps input and then i can buy another two of those which they're cheap enough and then filter the output of the pumps uh dash eight all the way up so half inch line so we have two half inch lines coming all the way to the front of the truck and I was thinking about maybe getting another regulator, but I don't know, that's kind of mucking up the whole system. So I, I, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, but right now I have plenty of lines and fittings and options to take. So, but that is where we're gonna be running into problems is fuel. I know this for a fact. So, Fuel is going to be our concern. 
so I am already, already building up my my uh, my battle against that. So um, there you go. There's our unboxing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. Bing bing. <laughs>